it's time to make bromovanillin. For the synthesis, we only need four chemicals, vanillin, bromine, methanol and distilled water. As a solvent for today's reaction, we are going to use methanol. It is going to dissolve the vanillin and methanol is also quite inert towards bromine. Methanol should be handled with great care because it's flammable and it's also quite toxic. Again, I have to thank Laboratorium Discounter for being a sponsor for most of my videos. I got the vanillin from them and I also got the methanol from them and much more. You can get a 7% discount code by using the code in the description or the code on screen. The vanillin I just showed you is from a different company and it looks somewhat yellow. The Laboratorium Discounter vanillin looks perfectly white, so it's a sign of purity I would say. I am still going to use the vanillin which looks less pure because I need the very pure stuff for a different project which you are going to see soon. I ended up using 152.2 grams of vanillin and a liter of methanol. The vanillin was chucked in and we turned on the steering to dissolve it. The vanillin dissolved rather well and within about 5 minutes we were ready to continue. We do not need to heat, we only need to stir. The next step is going to be the bromination and to brominate the vanillin we are going to add the bromine very slowly. You want to keep the temperature below 20 degrees celsius because if it gets too hot you get unwanted side products. You can see that the drops after hitting the vanillin solution quickly dissolve and react and the color of the bromine fades away. I filmed the time lapse in case anything interesting happens, but it didn't look like it. It remains mesmerizing to watch the bromine hit the solution. By the way, I used 54 milliliters of bromine and you can see that there's still water on top, but the small amount of water dissolved in the bromine shouldn't matter. Before the water enters the vanillin solution, we are simply going to close the funnel. If the temperature gets near the 20 degrees celsius, you can place the beaker into an ice bath to cool it back down. In the beginning the solution was yellow, but as we got towards the end of the bromination, it turned a darker red. Even if we cooled the solution down in the fridge, we wouldn't get any crystals. Therefore we are going to add 500 milliliters of ice cold distilled water. Upon the first addition, we already got a lot of precipitates. After adding the second 250 milliliters of water, we got much more. You can see the ice crystals floating around in the second batch of distilled water. As I added it, we got more precipitates and it looks somewhat dichromate like. I stirred the solution and afterwards let it sit. I unfortunately spilled some of the solution, but we ended up doing a vacuum filtration. By this step, we can remove most of the methanol and the methanol still looks orange, which indicates that it contains a small amount of leftover bromine. To rinse out the beaker and also to wash our product, we again need ice cold water. We are going to perform 3 washes with 500 ml of ice cold water each and later on we are going to do one last washing with 400 ml of 70% methanol which were cooled to minus 5 degrees celsius. And there you go, we are finished with the washing steps. Now you can see that our product is not looking like dichromate, but it looks somewhat brownish. We transferred the product to a large beaker and as you can see I spilled some while pulling a vacuum and venting back the chamber, but it was dried next to anhydrous calcium chloride and anhydrous potassium hydroxide. And there you go, this is our finished bromovanillin. I put it onto a scale and we ended up with 217.5 grams. This represents a yield of about 94.3% and I'm happy with that. And there you go, this is how you make bromovanillin. I am eventually going to make hydroxyvanillin from it, but I don't know if I want to publish the video. Most of the reaction is already done and I only need to isolate it now. I would like to thank all of my Patreons because I really appreciate your support. If you would like to see your name at the end of these videos as well, and also receive access to a few exclusive videos, feel free to check out the Patreon channel.